And so what does Paul mean when he says we've been blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms? Simply stated, it is blessings that pertain to the spirit and what we have in this inheritance in Christ. Verse 4 gives us a hint. God loved us and chose us in Christ. Verse 7, he purchased our freedom. We have redemption. Verse 11, we have received an inheritance from God. You see, this plan of salvation, it's a provision pre-planned by the Father, made possible by the Son, and bestowed upon and sealed for the believer by the Holy Spirit. And so Paul is basically saying the Spirit is the present means whereby God appropriates to the believing community the blessings that flow from the redemptive work of Christ. And so ask yourself the question, how much blessing is every spiritual blessing? It's a lot, isn't it? Christ is the fullness of God in bodily form. Colossians 1.19 is a parallel passage. And we, the church, are the fullness of Christ. I just read that from Ephesians 1, 22 and 23. In other words, all that pertains to life and godliness are found in Christ, and Christ is in us, and he is the fullness of every spiritual blessing. And by the way, nine times in Ephesians 1, Paul uses in the Greek a locative case where he talks about how we're in him, in Christ, united together with him, nine times about how we're in him. And so this particip participation, if you will, into all that Jesus is, we are.